Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set the default value property to specify a value that the field should contain when it is created with new records. For example, you may have a yes-no field for which you want to set a default value of no. The value that you set can be a number, a text value, a date, or even some sort of calculated expression. You can apply this to almost any field type into which you wish to place a default value. For example, if you wanted to have a default value of capital MI appear in a state column within one of your database tables, you could select the state field in the table's design view and then type the text double quote, capital MI, end double quote, into the default value field property. Then when you enter new records in the future, they will appear with the MI value already contained in the state field. This can be a handy time saver for fields where you want to record the data, but the data that is recorded is almost always the same. This way, you will only have to change that value in the field when it differs from the default value. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.